Hi, and welcome to Morning Coffee. If you've not already seen a churchwide email uh, or read the newsletter for this week, you might have missed that we have some important news to share about our congregation. Uh, the conference has projected me to be appointed at First United Methodist Church of Madisonville, Tennessee. Um, so I'll be heading there, uh, actually beginning on um, July 4th. My last Sunday here will be June 13th. Now this obviously comes as a great shock to us. It was after the appointment process usually happens, so we weren't expecting it. We were excited about Chris coming back, uh, but we're really excited now and proud of him that he'll be going down to be the lead pastor of a church in Madisonville, which, by the way, for those who are not sure where that is, it's on the road 411 mm -hmm. between Maryville and Cleveland, Tennessee, on that back road. So it kind of parallels the interstate, uh, Madisonville, a little town along that path. Mm -hmm. I'm super excited, uh, but also a little bit nervous, but I'm also feeling incredibly prepared um, because of the time that I've spent here uh, in this church community. You all have uh, been patient with me. You all have formed me as a pastor and encouraged me, and for that, I am incredibly grateful, uh, and I feel um, ready uh, to go into this, this new journey, into this new phase because of you all and, and my time with you all. So. Well, as you might have heard him say, uh, Chris's last Sunday with us is going to be June 13th, um, and we'll, Staff Parish is going to have a, a small reception for him that day, uh, figuring all those details out, and there'll be more to come. But we just wanted you to know what's going on, so you can be in prayer for Chris and Julie and Sydney, their daughter, as they make this transition. We have plenty of time for you to uh, celebrate with Chris and grieve a little bit, as we all will at and, uh, him leaving us for greener pastures. <laughs> so, um, be in prayer for the church as we talk about this transition over the coming weeks, and I'm sure there'll be more news coming out in the days ahead. Thanks. Have a good day.